Look at these, hey? Now that is some funkiness in that bag right there. Welcome back. It's pretty cold outside at the moment, so I'm kind of got myself all snuggled up. So do you remember this? This was sent down to me by, oh God, can't remember. I'll see if I can stick it up on the screen if I can. It was a while ago and I've been meaning to do something with this. It's, a, it's quite an old beam, I think, from a church. It's like about 100 and something years old, more than that. Much more than that, I think it was like something like 300 years old. I can't actually remember now. <laughs> um, but it's pretty old. Um, and this guy sent it down to me and said, I want to send this to you because I think you can make something really cool with it. So, well, mm, I'll try. But this is way too big for me to do anything with. And also, it's kind of falling apart a bit. As it would do after that length of time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop this up, first of all, into probably four different pieces. And see if we can make four different items from this really old antique beam. Then we're going to mix it up with some resin and bits and pieces and see where we go with it. Not too sure what to make from it yet. Could be a vase, could be a bowl, could be, I don't know, a hat. Not sure yet. But let's stick it on the bandsaw and let's get cutting. So as you can see, these are pretty rotten. Um, I mean, look at that. I can almost put my finger through there. Um, as soon as I put that on the lathe, that is just going to fall to pieces. So we are going to have to set this in resin. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to blow off some of the dust. So this is what we've got, kind of cool actually. Um, I kind of like all that where it's kind of like rotted away. That looks quite cool. So I reckon when we set that in resin, that could look quite could look quite funky. You rock. No. So again, not too sure what to make of it. Um, I suppose it could be some kind of a vase, but that almost kind of seems a little bit boring, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. Bear with me. Okay, so we've got these sealed up pretty well. Well, hopefully. So I've wrapped them in this um, kind of corrugated uh, plastic sheeting stuff. Super glued, uh, not super glued, hot glued all around the edges here and blocked that off, sealed that off. Uh, so I've done that to both of these. So we've done both of them. So you've got these two now and they're both ends are pretty sealed up pretty well, I think. But resin really does find its way out of places, it really does. So, so I'm hoping that these are gonna hold up and we can then mix some colors up. I think what we're gonna do is mix up some different colors and put them in, the, in, in these two things. I've no idea what they're gonna be yet, um, whether to put them on the lathe uh, to try and turn them into something or whether to maybe leave them as they are and try to make something out of them kind of as they are. Don't know, I'm in two minds of what to do with them, but I don't know. We'll figure it out.
Okay, so we are now all wired up. So I've got this wire in here, and if you notice, what I've done is I've kept the wire away from the edges because we want to be able to sand the resin and make it all shiny. So if this was touching, then we are in danger of ripping this off. And if we cut this wire, then it's probably not going to work. So, and then I've got the wire coming out of here. So when we this is all set, we can just slit this open. And we can just carefully take that wire out. Uh, and the same for this one. And again, just careful not to have the wire touch on the sides. You can see that one probably needs to come over slightly just in case. But um, hopefully this will look kind of funky looking. Um, so, oh, look. And if anyone wants a nice cup of coffee, beautiful. Yeah, best not to leave your coffee hanging around too long because it gets a little mouldy. Now we've got to mix up some resin and make this look in really funky. Not too sure what kind of colours to use yet, but but I've got a mixed bag of colours in here. Now, I've been lucky enough to have been sent down this huge goodie box from Metal Clay Limited. Metal Clay, I think they might be also known as House of Resin. I'll pop a link down below for, for these guys. So they sent me down all of these really lovely colours, happy days. These are Illuminite, uh, Illu Illuminite colours. Illuminite? Illuminite colours. Um, look at these, hey? Now that is some funkiness in that bag right there. There's some resin to use as well. Got quite a lot of resin in here. Now I haven't used this resin before, but I've heard it is pretty cool. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this in a different type of project because um, I've no idea how to use this just yet. Um, so I'm gonna leave that aside for the moment. We'll choose our project for that one. But what I am gonna use is some of these funky colors. Cheers, House of Resin. I'll leave links below so you can check them out. The question is, which colours? Now, I've used a few of these colours before. We've obviously got some violet, greens, ocean blues. I think ocean blue might look quite oranges. I've never seen these before. Didn't even know that these existed. Look at that. Yellow. Bright yellow. Fluorescent green. Like fluorescent orange. Look at that. Pink. <laughs> and that is going to be really cool in some projects. Um, but I'm not too sure if it's right for this type of project because this is kind of like, I'm kind of going, I'm kind of going with kind of like maybe two bedside lamps of some kind, which I think they need to be, I think they both need to be the same, but I'm just not too sure what colours to choose yet. I'm thinking more blue, yellow, kind of greeny kind of colour. Because I want these lamps to look kind of cool, but not too in your face. <laughs> No idea how this is gonna, um, whether I'm gonna need a little bit more resin than this. I think I probably am actually, but I'm just gonna see how it goes with one, and then uh, if it works out okay with that one, then I'll make another one. That green doesn't look very green, does it? All right, we'll go with it. Okay, so I've had quite a lot of problems here trying to demold this piece. Um, I've done this off camera because it just it's taking it was taking so long. Um, my fault really. I made a couple of mistakes. I didn't put any um, mold release in the mold again. I, ne I always forget that. Um, so it's been proven to be really really tricky to get this off. I've been I've put it in all sorts of devices to try and get it off. Um, and I still are having having trouble getting it off at the moment. I've also, uh, whilst messing about and sanding it in bits and pieces, I have taken off 
or ripped off the, the light switch thing. So that is not great news either. So I uh, don't know at the moment, this might be a failed project, but we'll keep going. I'm gonna try to um, get this sanded as much as possible first, and then what we're gonna have to do is there's the wire in there. In there, see it in there? I'm gonna have to try to get in there tactically to try to reconnect this somehow. But before I do that, I may as well just carry on sanding this off first. So, let's get to it. Lights work. I think there's only one word that springs to mind. Things don't always turn out the way you initially intended. I was very close to not putting this video it hasn't worked out. Nothing worked. The lights didn't work. The rubbing down bit didn't work. The shape didn't come out right. I knocked the wires off. It's supposed to be two really cool lamps. Now, I've no idea what they are. I've used so much resin on this project. I am pretty gutted. I have had, <laughs> I have had probably every single problem that you could think of in a shop <laughs> but I wanted to show you because to me this is a failed project and to many of you it's going to be a failed project as well um, at the end of it we've just basically ended up with two chunks of resin <laughs> with a bit of wood in it um, and that's basically it initially I wanted them to be really kind of cool looking kind of like side like you know lights and if you can see the uh, all the colors are wrong it's, there's so many mistakes and I'm gonna go through those mistakes with you right now with the hope that you don't make them first of all I used a ton of resin which would have been okay if the project had it worked but you've got to try these things and I think the moral of the story is once we finish the story is that if you don't try you're never gonna know whether it's gonna work out or not I've never done this type of project before with integrating lights into um, resin and I thought this might make a quite a cool kind of like project I mean it's quite nice bit of wood I mean look how it's come up it's come up really nice you know in, in a lot of areas I haven't finished this properly because I've kind of given up uh, because I knew that it was failing and a as I was going on it was failing even more so there's loads of marks in it and scuffs in it and I haven't cleaned it up properly the idea like I said is for us to be able to switch this on at the back and this all light up really nicely with all the resin in it. And the same with this one. Obviously we lost the wires, so first of all, the first problem that I've come across here is that all that resin I mixed up initially, all the different colors, hasn't made the slightest bit of difference. <laughs> I think we mixed up way too many colors. And I think that it's just made a, just a blob of mess. There is some uh, resemblance of reds and greens in there, but not kind of what I was thinking. I mixed it up too thick, so basically I put too much dye in it. And I should have probably just stuck with maybe one color, maybe two, but made it really, really light. And I put too much in it, made it too dark, and it's just blended together, just made black resin. Um, so that was the first mistake. Then um, I obviously intended that these molds were gonna come off really well, so um, I forgot to put the mold release in. Mistake number two. And that obviously then hindered me getting this off of here. So by taking that this the molds off, by having to rip them off and 
do all sorts of things to try and get the moulds off. I took, I ripped the wires off. And if I hadn't, if it had come apart nice and easy, I would have been able to keep the wires fairly intact. Although, um, I did manage to keep them intact with this one, but then got it caught on the sander, ripped the wires off of there as well. So that basically knackered them up. And then trying to reconnect these back up, I got them connected, but they just didn't work. So I don't know why I had a connection, just didn't light up. So that was the first kind of like failure, the mold release. That was going back to the mold release. If I'd have put the mold release in, I don't think I would have had those issues. Maybe I would have done. Um, so then I tried to be smart and drill a hole through here to put a light in. I put a light in there. Let me show you. So I got this, I put, which allows me to put this light in there like that. But that just, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me, really. Maybe it does it for some people, but it just doesn't know, it just doesn't look, what is that? What is it? It's the torch in there. And, and although it's kind of, when I drilled out, it's kind of made this little funky looking kind of piece where the drill has come through. I suppose, you know, it looks alright, I suppose. I didn't like that, so I decided to drill a hole underneath. So I thought it might be better coming up underneath, but that, doesn't do anything really. So that didn't work. Although if you think that that looks all right, then all right then, I'll take it. And then this one, I didn't bother drilling any holes because I thought that one was a failure, so I didn't think I'd bother. And that's it really. So I've got no lights really in them that I wanted. Um, I think I could have probably made something a little bit more nicer with these. But initially in my head, that was kind of, I was going for these two really nice bedside lamps, you know, that you could just flick on and give a little bit of ambient color but it didn't work. Well, you live and learn. And I think, for me, I think it's important for me to show you the failed projects as well as the ones that turn out all right. Because, and I hope you guys don't mind, and I hope that you all don't start disappearing now. Because in actual fact, I've had a quite an influx in subscribers, and I just wanted to welcome the last 25,000 uh, subscribers to my channel, which is just, I really don't know what to say actually, I really don't know what to think. And then after my influx of subscribers, I go and put a failed project up. <laughs> Please don't go anywhere, I am so chuffed that I've had these, uh, this influx of subscribers coming over and um, I have got some really cool projects coming up and I think you should hang around to see them. As I said, I've got a few things on the go. This one has been on the go for a long time. As you saw at the beginning of the video, it was winter and now it's summer and I've finished it. Um, so, um, but I have got a few things uh, on the cards. One of them's over there, the other one's over there. And I think these ones are gonna be a little bit cooler. I definitely think that these ones should turn out okay. Although you never know. Because you come across all sorts of different issues as you're going along. Some of them you don't know about. Some of them you think, oh, that might happen, but I get over it. But anyway, you just gotta keep going, really, and not get down about it, not get upset about it. I can't say that I haven't been a little bit upset because I really, really wanted it to work, but it didn't. But hey, like I said, I hope you don't mind me showing you this project. I will, or should I? Should I put stills up at the end? Mm, I'll maybe put two. And maybe it deserves one clap. So that's it, project over. I've probably waffled for quite a long time now telling you about this failed project. But please hang around. If you're still here listening, please hang around. As I say, I do have some kind of cool projects and I'm hoping that I could get these out to you soon. I don't want to rush them. I don't want to, uh, I didn't rush this one, so <laughs> it didn't work out. But um, you should see the state of my shop at the moment. It is an absolute mess. I'm not gonna show you because you'll see my other projects and I want to kind of keep them a little bit surprised. But it is an absolute, like some bomb has hit it. But anyway, so thanks very much for joining me on this, uh, on my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Thanks so much for coming over to the channel. Again, I hope you stick around. Please leave a comment, uh, a nice one. I know there's gonna be some people that aren't gonna like it, but uh, again, I apologize, but I just wanted to try to get this one up anyway. I spent so much time on it, so much money on it. Even though it's a failed project, I wanted to show you because hopefully it will help someone out there do their project thanks again take care have a great weekend <laughs>